culture sure. also. It's not really just a kind of music. It's like something you were, you could get into it as just a kind of music, and I'm sure there are, but for me, like, and we'll, honestly, hardcore here especially, I think it's like your community. Mm -hmm. Like, if we were playing this show in a different city, I would be very, you know, internally concerned of like, oh, everyone's going to leave or everyone's not going to care because that's happened to us. Here, I'm not worried about it because it's my community. We grew up on a lot of things, though. Like, we... Even pre-knowing about hardcore when we were like really, really young, like young teenagers. I mean, we we were always like the really young people at the shows, and like, and especially around Pittsburgh, which is definitely an older scene or was. Now it's thanks to this place kind of had a resurgence. But um, but when we were like you know 13, 14, 15, like we were always the youngest people at shows. You know, there was a time where if you played like heavy hardcore in the city, like. You know, like, I mean, ask anyone, you know, ask anyone in code, who's, you know, we've, we've all played so many shows to zero people, so many shows to, like, you know, or like with like shitty side bands or whatever, like, literally zero people, like a room, if there's people in the room, it's the other bands, like, you know, and that's, so I think it's cool to, you know, that that's not the environment younger kids with new bands have to, you know, see. Like every Code Orange release, I feel like people ask me, oh, what's it sound like? And I'm like, it's us, but like more so. Uh, so it's like everything that you kind of think about the band, but like more, more of that. Uh, but I think on this one, we definitely tried to take some left turns on people. Like uh, we kind of chose like an engineer that was sort of like out of our wheelhouse. We engineered a lot of it ourselves. Um, and just with the composition of the songs, we tried to do it in a totally different way than the last album or any album we've ever done. It's all collages. It's like the art, the process, the lyrics. Um, some of it's like art shade made, AI stuff, real stuff, real like nature bits. This is AI. Um, and it kind of is like this whole curtain pull between kind of like what we're doing now which is why i wanted to do this and I'm more open to doing this sort of thing it kind of plays into the element this kind of like stage play of life element of the album you know it's like the main line on the song is pulling back the curtain to reveal nothing much at all you know it's kind of about like the thin line between the art the process reality digital reality you know all this stupid shit that i'm into but so you see more like in the booklet of us just being us along with things that get a little strange. It's a mask on my face. The drive creatively and for all this stuff is a huge part of Jamie. You know, it's like he's the he's the one pushing everybody to be like to be the best that they can be and, and to put their best foot forward. I'm very excited for tomorrow. It's late at night. We've been up for like three days straight, especially the crew, um, but really everybody. This guy's worked his ass off. Everybody that's in this building right now, I'm very proud of. Like the whole concept of the album. Jamie literally thinks like in colors and shit like that. So like he had a color, you know, and it was, it was like a sunset color or like a vanilla sky reference color. And I think that was, that was his jumping off point. So from there, it, he started to go down the rabbit hole of like, what influences can I like explain to people uh, to get across the vibe that I'm thinking. So he, you know, sends around movie references and song references and things like that. And it kind of gives everyone a jumping off point. Vanilla Sky is much more about like romance and kind of facing choices you've made and where they lead you, which is a lot of what this record was, was about before I even made that connection, you know? And then I like, you know, we're always kind of playing in a certain genre, I feel like visually, like forever is more like, I thought of it as like a psych horror or something. And the last one's very sci-fi, a very, in a, I don't even know what the sense, but like, you know, a techno, technological kind of sense. And this one is like also kind of very sci-fi, but in this more strangely human, almost like naturalism, but through like this, with a, just a tinge of weirdness. Where am I meant to be? Where is my soul telling me that I'm meant to be? And then I feel like if those things align, you're going to make what you need to make to do so. Like you'll find your path. You're just gonna click in and it's gonna make sense. And it, that's kind of been happening. And um, yeah, I think the record represents that. And that, I'm proud of that if it does. Like again, the point of making music is for it 
it to represent a, where your emotional state is at a certain period of your life. And obviously this is a band, so, you know, it's even harder. You want that record to represent everyone's period of life in its own way. And that's like a big task to, to fit. That's why most bands only have like one or two people who ever write. Because how could you how could you do that with that many people? It's so confusing, complicated, and I think we did a pretty good job at that. So. But, I don't know, this one feels like a fresh, interesting thing. It's like a, you know, I don't know if you guys have heard the record, but I'm sure if not, James told you about it. It's like the sound is a jump for us. But that's that's true every time we put out a record. Which, you know, the sound is a jump for us. We, got, we finally got a, a dedicated drummer. You know, it's not Jamie playing drums and songs anymore. And, been a whole lot of coming back to Pittsburgh for like a rehearsal and then tearing it down and going to like a show and then coming back here and doing the same thing. So a lot of that where we would be working on some like kind of brand new shit and then other times where we were going over the stuff they'd already written. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was cool. Jamie still drums on like a couple of the songs. Um, some of the ones that were like uh, more rock stuff. And then I'm kind of like doing a lot of the heavy stuff, um, but yeah, it was uh, it was cool. It's I I'm usually like with my other band doing like almost like producing everything. So for this, I was just like I got to just kind of do the opposite and be like fill in with what needs to be done and not be the one kind of like controlling shit. So that was kind of a different thing for me, which was nice to just be able to just help with someone else get the the stuff that needs to be done. Each individual member of my band could not only just start their own band and have it be absolutely awesome for what it would be, but are really smart and in, in, in tune with all so much and can do so much. Reba and Shade can make shirts, they can make beats, they can make, they can do everything. You know, Dom and Joe, Dom writes, I mean, dude, I got a folder of like Dom's riffs that are like just metal riffs. They're the sickest fucking metal riffs you'll ever hear. But they just don't fit in for us because we're not always trying to do that all the time. Right. If he wanted to make a record of that, he would smoke everyone with the riffs. I mean, he has – in like Joe, same thing. Tons of creative energy, tons of drive. Working his ass off right now. You're going to see him running this whole fest. You're going to see him working on our – doing our merch, shipping it, handling all the logistics. Like everybody could do their own thing. So at a certain point, I don't want to bind people to like a lost dream. So to me, it's like this is the this is a very pinnacle point for us because I think the way it goes and how it's received will definitely determine our future. Not in like a fucking pathetic like please listen to it way because I want it to just be how it's going to be. But we've been doing this for a minute. We're still young, and I do think we deserve to be with what we put in and the quality in a different spot than where we're at. I hear it's gonna be packed, potentially overpacked, which would be sick. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how insanely crowded this shit's gonna get, but it should be sick. If everything works, I'm happy. I am excited, yeah. Excited, the album's out. That's like the best one. Just having the album out. And getting to play the tracks and it feels like a celebration. And like in the past, playing like stuff where all your family and friends are at, it can be stressful. But I feel like now I'm just kind of like excited. Honestly, it's unbelievable. It couldn't be going better, honestly. I'm very, very happy for Pittsburgh, for the whole thing. And yeah, it was awesome. By the way, last show we had here, you kicked me in my face, and oh, that was no. awesome. I'm so <laughs> I loved it. It's been an incredible success. Um, 
I had anticipated like a million fires happening and riots and people killing each other and uh, the PA blowing out and all the electricity dying, but none of it happened and uh, everything's going pretty on time. We're 10 minutes behind and that's our worst problem right now. So that's, that's a good problem to have. piece of bread trying to refuel it's fucking awesome uh, chaotic and uh, heartwarming a little emotional um, you know you never know like what's gonna happen and when you have a good show like this it feels like really good in the heart you know but uh, everybody worked insanely hard to put this thing together and I'm proud of code proud of the squad and uh, I'm lucky. Yeah, I'm grateful. That's what I always say. I always told myself, like, I feel like I personally have a lot to give creatively to the world. I personally have something to give on a stronger level. I know that in my heart, and we'll see if the world allows this, but I feel like we as a band, as a unit, as an art piece, really have so much more to offer. Like, this really could be... That's why I've been saying it's like, this is the end of one journey, but it's a door to another and it really could be i really think that we could take it to the next level and if we're able to do that i think we can bring something really special to this kind of music 